Nadia Suleiman is back, not as tabloid fodder, but on stage. I'm telling a story about people who just can't have enough. And what's happened in the last six months to, to the country, and especially the economy, is it's really, it's, it's help, it's, it's really forcing us to address that issue. Octo, the way that I make her is she's she's a little crazy because she really wants money and she really wants to be famous and she needs it. And then when she doesn't get get it, she goes crazy. Her own little show on TV, like the Osmonds and the Waltons and the Keens and the Partridges and the Bradbirds and the Kaninskys and the Stevers and the Cunninghams and the Lawbucks and the Ewings. And that's kind of what's so funny about everybody in the show. If they don't have what they want, they go insane, and they keep going more insane until they get what they want. In Octomom the Musical, I play Bernie Madoff. I think uh, Octomom and Bernie and some of the other characters in the show represent the, uh, I suppose, the excess that we see, uh, you know, turn on the TV and, and, and we see in our society all around us. I'm the big fat daddy of Park Avenue. Octoplets. You would be helping the country. You would be on national news. Oprah, the CBS early show. The View. Well, my aspiration is to give birth to 14 separate companies of the show touring uh, simultaneously. And uh, we will name each company after uh, one of uh, the special lady in La Habra's children. I wanted to create a really fun musical that captured this moment in time. Ah! 